So let's look at 15. We've got two functions, g of n and h of n, and they want us to find g of n times h of n. Now, the biggest thing that I foresee being an issue with these is that people are going to forget to put parentheses. All right? So g of n, put it in parentheses, times h of n. And we're going to FOIL it out. Okay, so first term times first term, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, n cubed times n is n to the fourth. Multiplying the outside terms, negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6, and we've got n cubed attached to that. Our inside terms, 5 times 4n, 5 times 4 is 20 n, and multiplying the last two terms, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. I look at it, see if I can combine any terms. I don't have any like terms. I've got n to the fourth, n cubed, n, and a constant. So that's as far as we can go. That is the answer right there. Okay, 16 is the same thing. It's just a different notation. I encourage you to rewrite it like this. F of n times g of n. That's really what that's talking about. So we take our f function, put it in parentheses, times our g function, put it in parentheses. Foil it out, or if you prefer to use the box, or whatever method you use, go with it. All right, n cubed times negative 2n, negative 2n to the fourth. Outside, n cubed times negative 3 is negative 3n cubed. Inside, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. n squared times n is n cubed. And our last, 3n squared times negative 3, negative 9n squared. This time we do have like terms. We have 2n cubed. So negative 2n to the fourth. We've got negative 3 minus 6, negative 9n cubed minus 9n squared. Okay, number 17 is really easy. Number 17 is really easy. It's division. Find g over h of n. But the part that makes it really easy is that all you do is put the top function, g goes on top, h goes on the bottom. Now in this case we can simplify that a little bit, but remember we can only simplify if we can factor. So I'm going to factor out a 2, a GCF of 2 from the numerator, and I'm going to factor out a GCF of 2 from the denominator. Okay, 2 times n plus 2. 2 times 2n minus 1. I can cancel those 2s. So this is equal to n plus 2 over 2n minus 1. And you may run into a problem that says um, state any excluded values. We have to exclude a number here because we have a denominator. The denominator can't equal what? What number can we not divide by? Zero. The denominator cannot equal zero. So when we get to the end, 2n minus 1 cannot equal zero. Solve for n. n cannot equal 1 half. That's the excluded value. Okay, so that may be part of a problem somewhere down the road. So just remember that. That's the only thing you have to remember with division. Okay, division really is the easiest one. You just put function over function. If you can factor and simplify, factor and simplify. Otherwise, that's all you have to do, and then find the excluded value. 
Okay, so that was pretty simple. Let's look at well, what happens if we want to plug in another function. Okay, after we multiply and we plug in another function. So number 18. Okay, I'm going to approach it the same way I did this with the linear combinations. I'm going to multiply g times h first. I'm going to simplify that. Then I'm going to plug in the x plus 1. Okay, so g times h first, negative 4x plus 2 times x cubed plus 2x squared. I'm going to do that part first. So negative 4x times x cubed, negative 4x to the 4. Outside, negative 4 times 2, negative 8, x times x squared, x cubed. Inside, 2 times x cubed, 2x cubed. Last, 2 times 2 is 4, and there's an x squared on it. What just happened? Multiplying g times h. And I fold it up. Okay. Combine like terms. We got x cubed here. Negative 4x to the fourth. Minus 6x cubed. Plus 4x squared. That is just the g times h part. I still have to deal with the x plus 1. So, everywhere we see an x, we leave it out, and we put a set of parentheses. In those parentheses, we put the x plus 1. Now, in this case, I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, that is not the answer on the answer key. But raising x plus 1 to the fourth means we're going to have to multiply. x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1. That's going to take some time. So we're just going to leave it right there. Okay, we're just going to leave it right there. That is an acceptable answer for this problem. Right here. Yes, sir. From H right here. Is that not the problem on y'all's paper? Are we okay? You see it now? G times H. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> number 19. Okay, number 19. Uh, let's do number 19 the other way. Okay, let's plug in the a minus 4 first and then multiply the results. Let's see uh, kind of how that looks. So, in my f function, I am replacing a with a minus 4. In my g function, I am replacing a with a minus 4. Okay with the setup. And see where it came from. So that's your f function for a plus one. And I replace the a with a minus four. So if I g function a squared minus five, I replace the a with a minus four. I'm gonna end up multiplying these eventually, but I want to simplify them first. Okay. So for the first one, we've got to distribute the four. 4a minus 16, plus 1 still chilling there on the end. a minus 4 squared is a minus 4 times a minus 4. It is not a squared minus 16. Okay, so my first little point C is really easy. 4a minus 15. We're done simplifying the first one. Still working on the second one. A minus 4 times A minus 4. A squared minus 8A plus 16 
If you need to take an extra step to do the entire foiling, that's fine. I just went ahead and simplified the outside and the inside. Okay, draw a line here. Four a minus d. Simplifying a squared minus eight a plus eleven. Sixteen minus five. Now we're finally at the point that we can do the multiplication. Now, do y'all remember how we multiply binomial times a trinomial? We got to distribute the 4a to everything. So 4a times a squared is 4a cubed. 4a times negative 8a, negative 32a squared. 4a times 11, 44a. Then we distribute the negative 15 to everything. Negative 15 times a squared, negative 15a squared. Uh, negative 15 times 8. Don't want to mess that one up. 120. Positive, because it was a negative times a negative. And then negative 15 times 11. Negative 165. Okay. Almost there. Combine like terms. 4a cubed minus negative 32 minus 15, negative 47. A squared, 44 plus 120, 164a minus 165. Thank you, sir. And that is the final answer. Okay? So, you can do it either way. You can multiply the two functions first, then plug in the expression, or you can plug in the expression first and then multiply the two functions. Whichever one works better for you, you should get the same answer either way. You should get the same answer either way.